Ole ole, this is Hellhound Engineering Solutions, bringing you a down and dirty unboxing and installation of a new garage door receiver logic board. Because of the extreme environmental temperature fluctuations inside a garage, the logic board tends to go bad over time and needs to be replaced. One of the main indications is when the remote control starts to work intermittently even with fresh batteries. Inside the box, you will find a readable instruction manual and the receiver logic board. The only tool that is required is a screwdriver. Start by unplugging the power cord from the garage door opening unit Take a picture of the placement and location of the three control wires before removing them from the receiver logic board. This way you will have a reference if needed. Unscrew the four screws from the corners of the receiver logic board and gently pull it out enough to remove the inner internal wire connector. Now the unit is free to remove. Make sure that you match the two force limit adjustments on the old board to the new one. Attach the new receiver logic board in reverse to the garage door opener. Take your time and make sure that you connect the inner internal wire connector correctly before placing the back cover on. Reattach the control wires and then plug the power cord back in. Now let's make sure that the garage door operates properly when opening and closing. Wow! Oh yeah, you definitely can come inside. Last thing is pairing your remote to the new logic board. All you have to do is push the purple button to sync it, then push the remote button and all done. Hey, ole! Another down and dirty do-it-yourself project completed. If you liked this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.